Let's talk about mantras. Let's talk about your personal mantra. In meditation, a mantra is a word that you say over and over again or a sound to bring your focus to the now. So it might be hum. But that's not the type of mantra we're talking about here. The mantra we're talking about here is a word that's going to spring you to action. That's going to make you focus on the goal ahead or stay aligned when shit hits the fan with the goals that you've set. That's the mantra we're talking about here. Now, let's talk about the Navy SEALs first. Navy SEALs undoubtedly go through some of the most strenuous physical challenges and arduous mental challenges that anyone, anywhere, would have to face. They are the elite of the elite. Now, a lot of Navy SEALs don't survive Hell Week. And Hell Week is a period at the end of their training where they have to withstand some really difficult challenges. One of them is staying up for 60 hours with only four hours sleep. Now, what they found was a lot of these SEALs were physically able to sustain the challenges of Hell Week, but they mentally were not able to. So they evaluated that a certain percentage will, percentage will pass, but a lot less pass the test of Hell Week. So they brought in a psychologist or someone to study the SEALs. And what they found is that it wasn't the physical demands that broke them. It was the mental demands. And the SEALs that were able to pass Hell Week often had personal mantras. They often had self-talk or a word that they would repeat in their mind over and over again to get the job done. Leif Babin in Extreme Ownership said that Oftentimes, the Navy SEALs will say, good times, as a mantra. Good times. Good times. Joker Wilnick, the former Navy SEALs Team 3 commander, said that he would often say, good, 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 whenever she hit the fan, whenever faced with an obstacle or something particularly challenging. Good, good, good. What this does is it reprograms your mind. It reframes it from seeing things negatively to seeing things positively, from seeing things as difficult to seeing things as easy, as doable. And if you do this over and over again, you exercise your ability to see challenges in this way. No longer will you run away from them. You'll face them directly because you'll remember that you've faced similar things before and the outcome is always good. The, out time, the outcome is always good times. I used to have a personal mantra during high school, during my exam period. Regardless of how difficult it was to study, regardless of how hard the concepts were for me to understand, I would always say, it's easy, it's easy, it's easy. Matter of fact, I actually had it at the back of my jersey, my high school jersey, I had it's easy at the back to remind me, to remind everyone about how it's easy. In the gym, when faced with a difficult set, a very physically demanding set where you have to do 20 reps on the squat or something, it's easy, it's easy, it's easy, it's getting easier every rep. Easy, 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 easy. That's the personal mantra. You need one. And it will really change your life. Do it! Just do it!